There is often a severe gap between police officers and the community activists who speak out against them, especially after an officer-involved shooting. Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie invited an outspoken, outspoken civil rights activist to put himself in the line of fire. Mark joins us live from APD headquarters in downtown Atlanta. Mark. Yeah, in an hour, maybe an hour and a half, uh, these officers from APD's elite Apex unit will likely hit the street with citizens that do not view the police like they did a year ago. Now, we could not give the activists in our story, obviously, all the shoot or don't shoot training that they have had. But would his experience change him? And if so, how? Dude, he was not coming at you. Well, my perception was that he was. Drop your weapon! Would not want to be the officer going before the grand jury on that. An active day. I saw him draw his weapon. Squeeze the trigger. For civil rights activist Mark L. Hutchins. <laughs> Outspoken. An underlying tone of shoot first and ask questions later. About police shootings. There is no justification. Killed for absolutely no reason. But this time, he's holding the gun. Drop your weapon. Quickly immersed in shooting policy. Who here holds their cell phone like this? And handgun handling. The only time you put your finger on the trigger is when you're ready to kill or destroy something. At the Atlanta Police Academy. Immersed. Drop your weapon! In the world of this split second of life. Let me see your hands. Or death. 11 shots fired, three hits, none of them were lethal shots. Justifiable. And we cannot shoot an unarmed, non-dangerous fleeing suspect. Or not. A difference tragically underscored recently, for instance, in North Charleston, South Carolina. Drop the gun, son! On the first couple video scenarios. The expert ruled the reverend shoots. Were you justified in using lethal force then? Yes. Righteous. Why? Who were you protecting? Myself. Exactly. But in a third. Ma'am, drop your weapon! There was a whole lot going on there very quickly. I mean, and that's what we as police officers have to deal with. He shot an off-duty policewoman. <laughs> repeatedly. And you're visibly emotional, aren't mm -hmm. you? Too. Are you really sure who you were trying to shoot? No. No. At best, I made a somewhere between a head and a heart decision and a judgment. Then, with head and heart yeah. protected, time to ratchet up. All right, turn around. The realism. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. I saw him draw his weapon. Okay. But you pointed your weapon at those two as well, didn't you? Yes. Why? Because I saw them lift something. Real people. Drop your weapon. With a real can, hammer, and fire, gun. This fire, time, good job on the first three situations, but on the fourth. Drop your weapon. Wow, dynamics just changed. You just shot a guy with a hammer that is 16 feet away from you. Where's the hammer? In his hand. Port arms, right? Yes. Do you feel that would have been justified? It's questionable. It's questionable? You'd have probably been prosecuted on that one. If we're going to have an advocacy community that demands accountability among law enforcement, we've got to be reasonable and understand the processes. Understanding that comes when you're in the line of fire. Did it change the way you look at things? Absolutely. Um, having a real-time weapon pointed at me sensitized me in a way that no other experience could have. Now, we could not give him the best picture of the shoot or sh don't shoot decision without sitting him down with some officers who have actually been in the real life line of fire. A lot of people don't look at police officers as being human. They see this uniform. And we have all, we all, we have the same needs just like everybody else. Now, tomorrow at 5, an officer killed, an officer wounded, an officer shooting the killer. Uh, the murder of Officer Mark Cross. This is actually his locker uh, in the Apex locker room. Coincidentally, his murder happened a decade ago today. A ceremony is about to happen <clears throat> in memorialization of that. Reporting live at APDA headquarters, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.